All right, so first what you want to do is you want to go to get uh, getpaint.net. It'll be in the description below if you're too lazy to type it. And then once you're on getpaint.net, go to get it now. Uh, go to download and then go to uh, click download now right here. And then free download now. And then I already have it, so I don't need it. And then also in the description below, there's also going to be a link to all the plugins that you'll need to install, along with a video on how to install Paint.net plugins. So I suggest that you watch that. And once you've installed Paint.net and all the plugins, you can open up Paint.net. Uh, go to File, New, and then make the width. Uh, actually, no. In the description below, uh, there's going to be like this banner template that I suggest you use. Uh, it's like right here. Uh, the download link will be in the description below, uh, like I said. And then once you've op opened it up, uh, what you, sh what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna look for like a wallpaper I want to use. So uh, I'm gonna use the wallpaper I used uh, in my example. Uh, so I'm gonna search up tracer, uh, and then I'm gonna pick this one. And then I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna wait for the picture to load. Right click it. Go to copy image. Go back to paint.net and then uh, add a new layer above the black bars and then move this below the black bars like that in the layers section press ctrl v and then uh, make sure you select keep canvas size and then I'm just gonna like position it like right there actually I'm gonna make this a bit smaller I'm gonna put it like right there deselect it and then after that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press ctrl shift u which uh, lets me change the hue slash saturation. I'm gonna bring down the saturation like that. Click OK. And then uh, what you can also do to get to uh, the hue slash saturation option is go to adjustments and then hue slash saturation right there. So if you do it correctly, um, the image should be black. So then uh, what you want to do is add a new layer above this. And then in the description below, there's gonna be a link, a download link to these patterns that I suggest you use. So uh, I'm going to select a pattern. I'm going to choose like this pattern, pattern number one, like that. But uh, if, uh, no. So uh, press control C once you've opened up the image. Go back to the banner and then go to the new layer with like nothing on it. Press control V and then just like position it like that. I'm going to put it like right there. Deselect it. Uh, go to the layers right here. Duplicate layer. And then just move it like that. You might want to rotate it a bit every time and then just keep doing it uh, but uh, if you're too lazy to do this I also have like this pre-made uh, uh, pattern pattern like I did the patterns for you so you can open that up press control C go back here and then uh, made it make a new layer like that press control V and then it should look like this let me just deselect everything like that and it should look like this so if you're too lazy to like uh, like actually like uh, uh, place every pattern then uh, you can just use my template template whatever uh, and it should look like this and then uh, what you sh what you want to do after that is add a new layer uh, below the pattern but above the background so that it's so, like just go to the background and then click add new layer and then go to the paintbrush tool make the hardness like 0% and then for the brush width it doesn't matter it just has to be big uh, I'm going to choose red like I did in my example and then just draw over it like that. Um, it should like make everything red. So then go to layer properties, layers and then properties like that. Change the blending mode to overlay or overlay. Uh, you can also play around with it. I can do color dodge, but uh, I'm going to stick with overlay. Click OK. And then what I'm going to do after this, after that is press control shift U. Or you could go to adjustments and then hue slash saturation. And then uh, I'm going to put this back at default. And then what you want to do is you want to lower the saturation a bit. Or you can raise it. It depends on like what kind of color you pick. The red I chose is like really bright. So then I'm just going to like lower it a bit. I'm going to do something like this. And then actually I'm going to do something extra. I'm going to go to adjustments and then uh, curves like that. And then uh, if you have like the curves, if you want to do the curves, like uh, what I'm doing right now, just make this line like an S shaped sort of 
like that click ok so once you have like so once you're done like uh coloring over like uh the background uh we're gonna do the text so then add a new layer above the patterns like that and then go to the text tool and then make sure your primary color is white so then just uh make sure your primary color is selected and then just click white right there and then i'm gonna click in the middle and then just type in my name let me make the font bigger and then i'm just gonna type timmy and then i'm gonna pick a font i want to use i'm gonna go with the bold font like that i'm gonna make this a bit smaller i'm gonna go to effects object line and center both i'm gonna go to effects object and then drop shadow like that i'm gonna make this black uh i'm gonna do something like this all right and then uh one last thing you can do uh it's optional but i'm gonna go to effects and then photo and then glow like that i'm gonna do something like this click okay click okay and then i'm gonna line it again so uh once you're done it should look like this and then what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna go to the patterns I'm going to go to the layer with all the patterns, and then I'm going to just set this to overlay too. So it makes the text like easier to see. And then I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to my background. I'm going to go to effects, blurs, and then Gaussian blur like that. So it blurs the image a bit. Uh, I'm going to do something like seven. Actually, I might do eight like that. Click OK. And then your end product should look like this. What you can also do is you can add a new layer above like the text and everything uh make the primary color black and then go on the edges and just color it in like that and then i'm gonna try making the blend mode overlay i'm gonna do stuff like this looks good and then add a new layer again and then make the primary color white go in the middle of the text uh just like uh, make sure like part of the circle is like touching the text like that or like never mind but like just uh just do this oops effects object align and then center horizontally so that it's right in the middle add a new layer and then put a dot at the bottom too go to effects object align and then center horizontally and it should look like this so now i think we're done i'm sorry for like i'm sorry if like if i like stutter a lot or like if i stuttered a lot in the video but uh yeah i don't really know what to say say but uh i'm sorry so uh, if you guys enjoy the video then uh leave a like and then tell me if you want more tutorials in the future i have another tutorial that i'm about to record so yeah stay tuned if you want to see that it's another paint.net tutorial so yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time and peace out.